In a recent interview, Kanye West made some thought-provoking comments about the late R&B singer Aaliyah and her tragic death, which shed light on the darker side of the music industry. My mama, Donda West, was sacrificed, West said. Michael Jordan, what about him? His dad, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. Out here in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God love me. They hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, had to write, net worth, $400 million. This truth is gonna be hurt, West said. Y'all can't send none of y'all Meek Mills, y'all Puffies, y'all Lil Boozies, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they have legal, issues. Aaliyah Dana Houghton was a rising star in the music industry during the late 1990s and early 2000s. She released three studio albums, collaborated with some of the biggest names in the industry, and starred in several successful films. However, her life was cut short when she died in a plane crash in 2001 at the age of 22. Kanye West, who is known for his outspokenness and controversial statements, spoke about Aaliyah's life and death in a recent interview with Vlad TV. He stated that the music industry is controlled by a few powerful people who are silencing artists and controlling their creative output. West claimed that Aaliyah was a victim of this system, which he referred to as the industry. He stated that Aaliyah was not able to fully express herself artistically because she was constantly being told what to do by industry executives. West went on to say that Aaliyah's death was not an accident but rather a deliberate act carried out by those who wanted to silence her. He claimed that Aaliyah was about to expose the truth about the music industry and the people who controlled it, and that her death was a way to prevent that from happening. While West's claims are certainly controversial and have not been substantiated, they do raise important questions about the music industry and the power dynamics at play. The industry is notoriously cutthroat and competitive, with a few powerful executives and record labels controlling much of what gets produced and promoted. Many artists have spoken out about the pressure they face to conform to industry standards and produce music that is marketable and profitable. This pressure can stifle creativity and prevent artists from fully expressing themselves. The pressure to conform to industry standards and produce music that is marketable and profitable is a pervasive issue in the music industry, affecting artists of all genres and backgrounds. Kanye West and Aaliyah are two examples of artists who have spoken out about this pressure and its impact on their creativity. Kanye West is known for his outspokenness and his willingness to challenge industry norms. Throughout his career, he has been vocal about the pressure he faces to produce music that fits into industry-defined categories and genres. In an interview with the New York Times in 2013, West stated that he was tired of making music that was so perfect and that he wanted to create something that was more authentic and true to himself. He has also spoken out about the pressure to conform to societal expectations, particularly as a black man in the entertainment industry. Aaliyah also faced pressure to conform to industry standards, particularly as a young woman in a male-dominated industry. She signed her first record deal when she was just 15 years old and was often subjected to pressure and abuse by those in the industry. In an interview with MTV in 2001, Aaliyah spoke about the pressure she faced to produce music that was commercially successful. She stated that she was not interested in creating music that was cookie-cutter and that she wanted to be true to herself and her own artistic vision. Also, veteran singer Jaguar Wright talks about Aaliyah. She was deep in the industry so she knows some things. During the interview, Jaguar Wright stated that Aaliyah's death was not an accident, and that she believed there was foul play involved. She also claimed that there were people in the music industry who knew what happened to Aaliyah but were unwilling to speak out. Awful what the did to that woman she said, she was amazing, she said. What more there is to be unearthed on that cryptic comment, one may wonder, for now. This was in an interview with the Jasmine brand. Unfortunately, both Kanye West and Aaliyah faced significant obstacles in their efforts to be true to themselves and create music that was authentic and meaningful. Kanye West has faced backlash from the industry and the media for his controversial statements and actions, and Aaliyah tragically passed away before she was able to fully realize her artistic vision. Furthermore, the industry is known for exploiting artists, particularly those who are young and vulnerable. Aaliyah was only 15 when she signed her first record deal, and she was reportedly subjected to a lot of pressure and abuse by those in the industry. It is important to remember Aaliyah and the countless other artists who have been silenced or exploited by the music industry. While it is easy to get caught up in the glamour and glitz of the entertainment world, we must not forget the human cost that often comes with it. Kanye West's comments about Aaliyah's life and death shed light on the darker side of the music industry and the power dynamics at play. 
While his claims may be controversial and unproven, they do raise important questions about the industry and the way it treats artists. We must work to create a more equitable and just music industry that prioritizes the well-being and creativity of artists over profit and power. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to see more content like this. Also, comment below topics you would like us to cover in our next video.